What's good, y'all? I'm Dr. Trehana, and today we're gonna make some protein based ice cream. Hey guys, my name's Michelle, Anita, Sarah, Julia, Peyton, Talia, Jazz, Marquita. I'm a physique. Product. 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 Period. You love to see. <laughs> a lot of people think when it comes to dieting, that means suffering. That's because a lot of people don't have a lot of information when it comes to nutrition. And because you grew up all your life seeing the briars, seeing the friendlies, you're over here thinking, okay, well, ice cream is ice cream. All ice creams are created equal. That's not the case. So today, what I'm going to show is how to make protein-based ice cream that you can literally have daily, guilt-free, and still hit your goals. Ready? Let's go. First off, here's the main ingredients you'll need for this recipe. You're going to need protein powder. It don't gotta be the exact brand, y'all. Just get some form of protein powder that don't have 17 grams of carbs or 17 grams of fat. You're gonna need a little bit of xanthan gum, okay? But if you don't have this, this is totally fine. This is optional. You're gonna need a sweetener. I choose some allulose. It actually agrees with my stomach a little bit more than stevia, but you can use stevia as well or the trubia. This is the one you're probably more familiar with. Now you're gonna need something that's a base that's gonna actually bring everything together. So I actually like to use a little bit of cornstarch, about 10 grams of cornstarch, okay? And last but not least, you're gonna need ice, duh, and you're gonna need a blender. I bought this blender just for y'all ass, so go ahead and send me $80. So if you already have access to all these things, let's go ahead and make our protein ice cream. 12.30. And I'm about to have some ice cream, but when you're having a better version of ice cream, you can have it like that, all right? So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my protein powder. Go ahead and add that in. Now to make sure that mine is really, really protein-based, what I like to do is add maybe like a cup and a half, okay? The more protein, the better, honestly, all right? But I don't want it to be too overbearingly chocolatey, so I'm gonna just go ahead and do a cup and a half. Now, if you really want this recipe to come out as bomb as possible, what I'll prefer you to do is actually get a food scale. If you're not weighing everything out, you're kind of guesstimating. So if you want to really dial down on your diet and figure out what your body can handle, what it really cannot handle, you need to have a food scale. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and throw my blender on the food scale. That way I can really track how much grams I'm placing inside this blender. So I just went ahead and slide it under and just zeroed it out and always put it on grams at least for right now. So like I said, I already placed a cup and a half of protein powder in here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add about 10 grams of cornstarch. I got this brand. Any type of cornstarch will be totally fine. You don't need this, but this is optional so I can really have more of an ice cream type of texture. Keep pouring until you see 10 grams. When they use 10 grams of cornstarch, I use about 20 to 25 grams of any type of sweetener that you wanna use. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Truvia. I've never used Truvia before, so let's see how it tastes. Now, when it comes to any type of sweetener, make sure you be a little bit more on the lighter side with these because these are very, very potent. And some people's bodies do not have enough digestive enzymes to break down polyols, which is like malitol, mannitol, erythriol. And that's why if you notice, if you had some of like those keto candies or keto ice creams and your stomach is going crazy, it's probably because of the polyols. I'm gonna put 20 grams of Truvia inside the blender. That is done. Now, I personally like to put a little bit of xanthan gum in there. It just brings everything together, kind of like meshes everything together or be a little bit more cohesive. I probably put two or three grams of this inside the blender. Now you wanna use 80% of your milk. So I actually have this carb master milk that's only at Kroger. So if you cannot get your hands on this milk, just try to find a better protein based milk or cereal milk. This is a preference, but sometimes I like to go ahead and use this um, instead of an actual milk. That weighs a little bit more protein based than that. So I'm gonna pour 80 grams of this. Now as a personal preference, I like my ice cream to be a little bit more on the flavorful side. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some vanilla extract inside of it. A little splash, nothing crazy. That was three grams if you're a stickler. And last but not least, what is ice cream without any ice? Put in about 250 to 500 grams of ice inside this blender. Yeah, I'm raw dog in the ice, so don't judge. So this is the final product. Let's just go ahead and blend it all up. So what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to keep it on one as long as possible. That way you can break down all the ice. 
and then you want to put it on like the milkshake mode or two or three for like intervals for about 30 seconds each and then you should technically have your ice cream. With that being said, let's start. I ain't supposed to be doing all that, but F it. <laughs> all right, y'all, look. I think I really broke it this time. Look. You see the joint flashing? What the hell? What the hell did that mean? <laughs> all I'm going to do is unplug it and plug it back in. Hopefully, it ain't broke. What the fuck? Well, y'all, I think I broke my blender. It's still blinking, even though I plugged it multiple times. So, I'm going to just let it be great. But it looks kind of more on the smoother side anyways. As you can see, it's thick. That's what I wanted. So, let's go ahead and try it. You see, you really got the consistency of ice cream. I can do this. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta be quicker than that. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Ice cream. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with this thing, but obviously it definitely tastes like ice cream. You can literally do this, right? Put it in the freezer or nothing. So I would advise you to actually put it in about 400 grams of ice. That way you can probably see the ice crystals in it and it really tastes and have the flavor and consistency of ice cream. Cool. And just so you have an idea of how crazy this concoction is, this whole entire container has about max three to 400 calories all in. The equivalent of you having one cookie. Would you rather have all of this or one cookie? You know, and you can eat it straight out the blender like this, and you can eat it guilt free because it's protein based. So, one thing I want you to remember for the rest of your life go ahead and make anything protein based on average, especially if it's man made. I've never seen an ice cream tree before. You know, you can't make a potato protein based because a potato naturally is a carb and it comes from the earth like that. Make anything protein based is just the fact that majority of the ice cream that you come across Cold Stone, Hagen Dazs, Briars. Baskin Robbins, they're not gonna be protein based based off the ingredients that they're using. Cool? Hope y'all learned something today. This is amazing, by the way. And that's your reset tip of the day. It's gonna be six snatch all the time, not in the summertime. Talk to y'all soon.